Hi everyone, in this video you will learn how you can quickly add a logo or a label to your product in Blender using this shader setup and uh, an additional UV map. So I'm going to delete these nodes right here to start from scratch. So here's the basic shader for the, for the bottle and also I'm going to delete the second UV map like this. So this bottle is already unwrapped. If you go to the UV editor, press tab and here's how the UV map looks like. So in order to add a, a logo somewhere here, I'm going to use the second uh, UV set. So all you have to do is go to object data properties, this green triangle, and you have to press plus right here. And let's rename it. Let's give it a name. Let's say second UV map. All right. And I'm going to make it active. Make sure that you click on that left click on that map. All right. And let's get back to the uh, Actually, we'll continue to work in UV editor. I'm going to select the faces where I want to put my logo. So let's select this area, for example. Uh, I'm pressing hold down control shift and I click on this face. And then I press U and choose project from view. Let me select the actual logo, press L to select linked and I'm going to increase the size of that UV shell like this and then I'm going to invert the selection I'm going to press A G X to move it out of the UV tile and then I can slightly adjust the size of this UV to make it a bit more straight alt and left click into the uh, edge select mode yes to slightly make it a bit bigger. S again. All right, something like that. For now, we do not see this logo on the on the product because currently our setup looks like this. We have only uh, some texture for the bottle. So let's start to mix this shader with the logo. I'm going to add a mid shader node. And then I'm going to add a principal BSDF shader like this. Control shift left click on this shader to make it active. And then I'm going to add the image texture node. I'm going to press open to add my logo. That's how it looks like. This is not exactly what we want, right? So I have to change the uh, extension mode from repeat uh, to extend like this. And then I press Ctrl T to add the mapping node and the texture coordinate node. But instead of texture coordinate node, I'm going to delete it and add a UV map. And I'm going to connect it to vector. And I will select our second UV map that we created recently. And that's what we have now. That uh, looks good, right? Now I want to add a black and white mask and connect it to the vector. Let's actually uh, connect our first shader to the mix shader and I'm going to make it active. That's uh, what we have for now. Let's set factor to 0.5. So we will be able to see the actual logo. So I'm going to add a color ramp now. And let's actually make it active like this. So I'm going to move this white slider to the left to uh, make the image to add more contrast to this mask like this. And then I'm going to connect color output to the sector in the mix shader node. We can switch inputs in the mix shader node by pressing, by selecting it and then pressing Alt S. So now everything looks correct. Uh, we can adjust the size of the logo using the mapping node. All you have to do is just select scale values and just move it or just increase it or decrease it and then adjust the location slightly like this. If you want to put it lower or higher, it's up to you. And also we can manipulate it by going to the UV editor and then I'm going to press tab A to select everything. And let's say I want to select this UV island. So I just hover my mouse over this island and press L to select it. And then we can scale it to increase or decrease the size. All right. So, and also we can add a bump node, 
connected to the normal input and then let's say I'm going to use this as the input for the height in the normal map to kind of to create some elevation for the logo like this we can adjust roughness make it metallic it's completely up to you so yeah I hope this was helpful uh, if you have any questions please drop them in the comments and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future and I'll see you soon.